Hi, it's Matthew Tisbury. I'm the editor and I'm just going to run through with you guys today just how I do some of my work, what I've been doing in the pre-production phase of the documentary and hopefully give you an idea of how I'll be working um, when we get into post-production after we've shot. Okay, so first things first is we have to make a project. So it needs to be edited in the way that you shot. So these things that I'm going to be editing today have been shot at 1080 at 25 frames per second. So we select that, make sure everything else is correct, which it should be. Just name this something simple for that. And yeah, let's click create. Now that we're in our um, project, we want to make some bins to start off with, just so we have a good workflow. And we can make these bins as we go, but these are just the first few I like to make just to begin with. So yeah, let's get to importing our footage. So what we have to do is go to source browser and just navigate your way to your footage and select it all, all the stuff that you need. But in this case, we're gonna need from here to here. This is hopefully when you've hopefully shot well and you have the clapperboard in the thumbnail of every shot so it's easier to look for what you want so we're going to link them and they're all in our project now first we want to find out which one of these videos are the most usable because we took multiple takes then once we've established that we're gonna um, link the footage to the audio so we have audio to this as you can see right now if I play this it has no audio um, and then we can start cutting so let's go on to that now okay so um, I've singled out the tracks which are the most usable for this one we didn't take too many takes so we've only got the one take here the other takes were not usable um, so now what we have to do is link these. So I've already gone ahead and done one, but if we move this one to this linking bin that, bin that I've made, put that in there, this is the one, the other one, and then also get the audio, which you would have imported, hopefully, put that in there. And then you just want to find the clapperboard. This is where the clapperboard comes in handy. So you find the thing, uh, find the clapperboard in the waveform. You should be able to see it quite easily, a quite distinct waveform there, which is there. So you want to put an in point with E, and then you want to do the same with the video. Now the video sometimes doesn't have audio, but this one did. So I can see the waveform where it is supposed to be. If not, you would just do it by the picture. So you do that, and then we can just right click on them, select them both and auto sync via endpoints. Do that and it's made us a synced track. So yeah. So now we can get into properly cutting this and creating something that you would see on our YouTube. So as you can see we've got two shots here. We've got a wide and we've got this sort of close up one that gives us some close ups. So what I first do is just cut in the whole of this wide shot and then we can sort of trim it down from there. So if we do this quite roughly to begin with, um, let's just find the bit where she begins. We can look at the waveforms to see that and scroll in a little bit more. So we now click R to do an out point and E to do an in point. So we've selected this area and we can click X to extract it. Okay, so let's check whether that edit was good. Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. Okay, so that's where she starts. There is a bit of a movement in the camera. So what we might want to do is use uh, the B camera. So here's the B camera loaded into our source source um, monitor. And we can just find that exact same point. There we go. And we can just do that. And then just click B to overwrite it in. And then we can just and well, Hello and welcome. Okay, so it's a bit rough, so we're going to want to sort of trim it down a little bit. Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel for my hundreds of brothers and sisters. I'm the writer and director Adele Pearson. I'm the producer. Okay, so we're going to want to 
before it starts moving slowly. We're going to want to cut cut back. Sisters, I'm the writer. Sisters. Okay, so there is when she stops saying a little bit of the sentence. Channel for my hundreds of brothers and sisters. And then we'll cut back to the wide. So we put the last point there. So we're going to want to put an out point there. And then just snap to the end of this one. Do that. And here we go. They should line up exactly correctly because the audio track is the same on both. The channel for my hundreds of brothers and sisters. I'm the writer and director. And there we go. So there's a bit of distortion there. So we can see if we can cut that out. Sisters. I'm the writer. There we go. So it sort of seamlessly goes between the two. The brothers and sisters. I'm the writer. So now it's just a case of going through and splicing in these um, close-ups wherever I feel is necessary. Um, so yeah, let's get to that now. Once that's been done throughout, we just want to do one final check to make sure that we have taken out, taken out anything that needs to be taken out, any mistakes and stuff like that. So for example here, and it'll be really, really quite pretty because it'll be snowing, and the fact that so Adele said that it will be snowing because we originally planned to go earlier in the year but now that we're going later it probably won't snow so we're going to take that out so yeah you put your in point then find the out point which I think would be around here because it'll be snowing and the fact that so yeah there we go snowing and the fact that Tokyo Palace is so we can just take out this snowing part because that is not going to be happening and see how that sounds. Go around the palace, film it in that sort of way. And the fact that Tokyo Palace... There we go, it's is... kind of rough, but we can come back and clean it up. And then you might want to start thinking about adding some sort of effects and transitions. So if we head over to another project now, I'll show you some of the work I get up to there. So yeah, now we're in uh, another project. project. Um, it's a, for Adele's uh, video. So we're just going to go ahead and edit this and let you see sort of the process. Um, yeah, so this is what a finished sort of video could look for our YouTube could look like for our YouTube. Um, as you can see, it's got titles here, title sequence. Hello, everyone, and welcome to my. It's got some cutaways. Beneficial for me. It tells. Obviously, the cuts is a with lot of... an effect here. As you can see, there's a slight um, dissolve effect just to make the cut a little less jarring. But yeah, as you can see, it sort of just dissolves in nice and smoothly. And then you've got these dissolves at the end as well. Sort of it fades out the sound nicely, fades out the picture nicely, fades this in nicely as well. Also at the top here, you can see we've got the subtitles, um, which if I activate, you can see are here. So yeah, that's about everything. I hope that's given you a little bit of a taste of what I'll be up to in the post-production phase after we've shot in Poland. I know we're all really excited to get out there and just get cracking on with the creation of this documentary. Um, if you guys would like to, we have a GoFundMe at the moment, which will be linked down below just to raise some money to help us with our production. But other than that, um, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Bye.